mud, mud. I love your sound. I'm absolutely, positively wild about mud. I can't go around. They got prepared in the medievals while uh, faking all this uh, Holy Roman Empire stuff. And then they get ready, they pulled up all this evidence of excavation in Rome and said, oh, here's a Rome. Phil's ridiculous argument of this lost Roman society or hidden Roman society is pointlessly ludicrous. Medieval society knew about Rome. It was a cornerstone of their educational system. For the wealthy, I should say. For a group proposing to be so literate and well-read in all these subjects they're skipping around, it's baffling how stupid the statements are. Morons. <laughs> you know what's crazy, Martin? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was talking to uh, a few um, friends that are Christians, and they were like, I was like, well, if God, you know, uh, is the creator of this place and creator of all things, which he is, right? Well. I said he had to be a titan himself if he uses the earth as a footstool. And they were like, oh no, that was just a figure of speech. And then I just, no, I, I, just, so. I, just I just laughed. God is actually just one of the giants that you talk about, Emily. All those skeletons that you supposedly say are magnificently huge people are now God? Or what, what does it even mean? God actually has a foot? Is that what you're trying to argue here? It's so confusing. The face, the beard, the nose, and the eye, the mouth, the hair, this huge head here of the person, right? And his eye is closed. Here's his eye. Oh, I like that. Yeah. A few wrinkles under his eyes, don't I? Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is an eye of a rock. Yeah, zoom out for a second. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's the nose, that's the mouth. Yeah. The river has his mouth, yeah. Weird. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's pretty weird. Well, I often thought that there was, this place was a prison. So, uh, really much to learn. And as, as more we learn, more we don't know. Like, it's an eternal process of learning, studying, researching. The continent of Eurasia is actually a dude's head. Not only is it a dude's head, but it's Ra's head, apparently. I'm the Egyptian god Ra. His head is the continent of Eurasia. And his beard somehow fossilized with him, because Ra has a beard now. And his eyelid is actually closed, and you can tell his eyelid is closed. That's what's being said here. I want you to be very aware of that. The continent of Eurasia is actually a head. Stupid! You're so stupid! And that brings us to the end of our long, arduous trek. Uh, the rest of the video, they basically mutually masturbate each other and give some shout outs to some other dumbasses that I'm sure I'll get to eventually. I wanted you to be crystal clear in your understanding of why I did this. This video is not chosen arbitrarily, if you will. The original source video has almost 20,000 views to it. The three guys talking here, the three idiots, have a combined, what, 50,000 subscribers? That is a ridiculously big number for the amazing amount of idiocy that is at show here. I think a good way to cap this whole discovery voyage we've been having together is to give you a few of my thoughts on the overall material. First thought would be, it's amazing how they are so good at changing the subject all the time, you're never actually talking about anything. It's truly the definition of talking out of your ass. These guys go on and on and on and on and on without ever providing any evidence. The pictures rarely, if ever, match what they're talking about for this video. They never provide any sources. And when they do provide a source, or when they, I happen to be able to find their actual source, they're almost always 100% wrong. It is impressive how consistent they are in failing what is apparently supposed to be their area of expertise. Branching off of point one into point two, this whole conversation is surrounded by unarguable statements. Statements that have 
such little backing, they're not worth being said. And yet, you go through the comment section of the original video, and there's heaps and loads of support for what they're saying, as if something grand is being discovered here. They have this air of about them that says, I'm telling you something, and you're going to be supernaturally better because of my gift of this to you. And they're duping people. These guys appear to be, this is a source of income for them. It is astonishing, and that's why I think it's important that I make these videos, even if only 50 people see this video. 50 people now know about these actual topics, so if they happen to have a terrible day and someone that is a proponent of this stuff comes along and talks to them about Tartaria, giants, random frequencies, the continent of Eurasia being the head of an Egyptian god that has a beard and a closed eye, they have at least some ammunition that they can use to fight the stupidity that's going on. There's a lot of stupid on YouTube, believe me. And a lot of that's covered by people that do a lot better job, have a lot better budget, a lot, hell of a lot better editing than I do. But I'm doing my part, and I'll continue to do my part as long as I don't have to pay to do it. So, thanks for watching.